Tonight on the Evening News. Tonight, mission accomplished. Season tickets for Winnipeg's new NHL team officially sell out. Also, protecting what's left. Cottage communities devastated by storms rebuild sandbag dikes. And in sports, the Bombers report for medicals and physicals with training camp just to sleep away. From the Global Winnipeg Studios, the Evening News. Good evening and thanks for joining us. We don't even know its name, but Winnipeggers have stepped up to support our future NHL team. On Tuesday, we were told the only way the NHL would return for sure is if hockey fans ponied up and committed to buying 13,000 season tickets. Well, that's exactly what people did. In mere minutes, every available season ticket was snatched up by hockey-hungry fans today. And while it was a morning of pure elation for some, it was a dismal day of disappointment for others. Global's Lorraine Nickel reports. You'd think you'd have to go elsewhere to get the tickets, but to know it's in Winnipeg, it's surreal. Curtis Perkins hasn't slept much. He's too nervous waiting to buy NHL season tickets and be a part of Winnipeg history. In the back of your mind to know that one little thing could prevent it from happening. As the clock turns 12, it's the moment of truth. One many have waited 15 years for after the Jets left in 1996. Okay, what do I do now? <laughs> This die-hard hockey fan broke his ankle last night celebrating the return of the NHL. For Dan Linklater, even the pain won't stop him. In the hospital, getting ready to buy season tickets. It was a frantic effort for Jeffrey Hampson and his friends to get their tickets. Watching the pre-sale go and watching all the tickets be sold and just the sinking feeling in my heart. Are you kidding me? After a slight delay, Perkins couldn't believe what happened next. I am a season ticket holder for the new hockey team in Winnipeg. Yes! From his hospital bed, Link later was only able to secure one seat out of two. It was like so surreal. Couldn't believe it was actually happening. But it was much more disappointing for Hampson, who was shut out. It took less than 17 minutes to sell out. Those are the longest 17 minutes. They felt like 17 months. Roughly 5,800 seats were sold today, after about 7,200 were sold first to move season ticket holders. And now another 8,000 people are on a waiting list. This is a very, very powerful message that goes out throughout North America to 29 other NHL cities right now. True North Sports and Entertainment says there will be less than 1,000 tickets available for each game, guaranteeing that this arena will be sold out for four to five years. Officials are discouraging scalping of tickets and have come up with a plan in hopes to prevent that. When somebody who has a season ticket can't use their ticket, they can post that on the Ticketmaster Exchange and, and resell the ticket. Folks who are on the wait list, of course, will have first chance at that. But for the lucky ones, they now have the most coveted tickets in Winnipeg. Do, do, do. Yes, thank you. I did it. Lorraine Nickel, Global News, Winnipeg. With the wait list already at capacity, many who missed out on season tickets are resorting to paying big bucks and even begging for the chance to see the team play in person. It didn't take long for the online classified site Kijiji to explore, explode rather, with postings from desperate fans offering to do or, or pay anything to get their hands on tickets. Some of those lucky enough to get tickets are now looking to make a profit. Tickets to the home opener are going for as much as $10,000 a pair. And if you're looking for season's tickets, they are going for upwards of $150,000 for a five-year contract. But remember, all of these transactions are illegal. So with the season ticket drive done and over with, attention now turns to what the NHL team will be called. Hockey fans hopefully won't be waiting too long. True North says a name announcement will be coming soon. I can tell you there's, there's clearly lots of passion in the community over the issue regarding the name. Uh, and some people are passionate for history. Some people are passionate about a, about a clean slate moving forward. And, you know, one of the challenges will be to, you know, manage that properly. And it's because it's an important brand issue for all of us and, and getting that right. True North Sports and Entertainment confirming tonight that they've told Thrasher's general manager Rick Dudley that he will not stay on as the team's GM. The Winnipeg Sun, meanwhile, is reporting that Mark Chipman and company have received permission from the Blackhawks 
to talk with Kevin Sheveldayoff regarding the position. Well, it's safe to say, Winnipeg, we're in. True North officially stamped the drive to 13,000 as mission accomplished this afternoon after the general public snapped up 5,842 season tickets in just 17 minutes' time. This, of course, follows an impressive spree by those lucky enough to get a pre-sale password over the past few days. Winnipegers spoke very, very strongly in Manitobans today to say, you know, we want tickets. Uh, they bought tickets. They pushed through in 17 minutes, which, as I said, is a very, very powerful message going back to the National Hockey League and throughout the country, as you can imagine. When asked about how impressed he was on how quick Manitobans gobbled up the season tickets two and a half weeks before the June 21st Board of Governors meeting, NHL Commissioner Gary Bettman said that he had no doubt the drive to 13,000 would reach its destination and that the remarkable speed certifies the fans' hunger for NHL hockey and their commitment to True North. Well, former Atlanta Thrashers and soon-to-be Winnipeggers also lit up Twitter just minutes after tickets were sold out. Ford Evander King congratulated the city, saying he knew everyone was going to pull through. Anthony Stewart asked, what would you do for two tickets? Just a day after he posted a picture of himself wearing a Jets hat. And Blake Wheeler suggested the team should add 15,000 seats to the MTS Center so everyone could get season tickets. Overall, the players are getting pretty pumped to get to Winnipeg. It's uh, obviously the smallest market in the NHL, and to put up that many uh, season tickets that quickly is pretty, uh, pretty amazing. You know, to have talk and talk to most of the guys on the team, uh, everybody's pretty excited. Um, and obviously, uh, if, if there's that much uh, excitement around the city, they, they totally deserve it. And uh, they got what they wanted, and uh, we're, we're happy to get going.